Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate a new feature currently in the beta version of Photoshop, but as you'll see in a moment, it's actually kind of in the current version of Photoshop as well. I'm talking about these new actions. Now, it will probably help you follow along if you have your Photoshop looking like my Photoshop. I'm in what's called the Photography Workspace. To get to that, go up to Window, Workspace, and over to Photography. When you're in the Photography Workspace, you should have an Actions panel. It's a little flyout panel, and this is the icon for it right here. If you don't see that little icon, you could go up to Window, down to Actions, and just click on that, and then that little icon and panel should appear over here. Now, what these actions are, and why they're different than the traditional actions that are in Photoshop is that they use AI to examine your image, determine what your image has in it. Then it gives you suggestions, up to 15 different suggestions of actions you could run on the image to get a specific look. So if I click on this, and I can make this bigger by going down here and just pulling down, you'll notice at or towards the top, there are these five suggestions, and these are based on my image. And you'll notice that some of them have like a little monitor and eyeball next to them. Those will actually give me a preview if I hover over them. So if I strongly boost the vibrance, or I want to do that, and I want to get a preview before I actually apply it, I could just hover over that, and you could see what it did. If I want a black and white sepia toned image, I could hover over that. If I want to make the subject pop, hover over that. If I want to increase clarity, I could do that. I could generate a custom background, but that isn't going to give me a preview because with this action, I actually have to give it a prompt. And I'll run that in a moment, show you what I'm talking about. So for that one, I could change the background and I could say, you know, put her on a busy street or something like that. So that's why that doesn't uh, give me a preview. Now, I mentioned that in the current version of Photoshop, uh, these options are kind of in there, except, except it doesn't use AI to examine your image and give you suggestions. And I actually have done videos on these in the past. So I'm going to go to the current version of Photoshop. And you'll notice that the action tab is slightly different in this version. This is the traditional actions flyout tab. It has like a play button. Now, I did mention that these kind of actions that are in the beta version of Photoshop are in this version of Photoshop, but they're kind of hidden because they're not in this Actions tab. They're in, if you go up to Help, believe it or not, and you go to Photoshop Help, you'll notice right here there's something called Quick Actions. Quick Actions pretty much are the same thing, except they're not uh, like suggestions. They didn't examine my image and said, it suggests you blur the background or you suggest you smooth skin. It didn't do any of that. These are just actions that I could run, quick actions that I could run on this image. And just about everything here is in the beta version in that actions tab. So what they've done is instead of having all this hidden, they have it where you could find it now in this new actions tab with the new icon. And not only that, they intertwined it with AI so that Photoshop will look at the scene and determine or make suggestions of what you might want to do with the scene. So you have these uh, suggestions. And I mentioned that it shows you five, but you could have up to 15. So if you want to see more uh, suggestions, what you could do is hover over where it says based on your image, and you'll notice a little circular arrow appears here. Click on that, and you'll get five more suggestions. So you could see Curves, strong S curve, soft black and white. Now, print one copy doesn't give us a preview. Blur background, and sometimes you have to wait for it to hover, to kick in. That's blur background and cool shadows, warm highlights. And then I could go over here and hover over based on your image again and get five more. And then we have black and white. We have add a white frame. We have posterize. We have Photo Repair, Soft Contrast, and then we have Brighten the Image. 
So those are really the total 15 suggestions, but there's a lot more. If you go down here, you'll see there's featured essentials. These aren't necessarily uh, suggestions for your image, although one or two of these might have appeared up here when I cycled through the 15. But here you could auto adjust levels. You can see there's no preview for that. Boost vibrance, sharpen the image. Then again, remove the background. That's not going to give you a preview. Uh, select the subject doesn't give you a preview. Now you could search for things. Let's say I just want to look at black and white action. So I could type black and white. And then it's going to show me all the different black and white actions. And I could, again, with the ones that have that little monitor icon with the eyeball, I could hover over it and get a suggestion. You'll notice as I hover over these, the actual layers panel is changing and showing what will happen. So it's adding, you know, another layer. These I found are non-destructive. Everyone I've run is non-destructive. So it never works on your original background layer. It will work on a copy of that layer and it will add everything on top. So you could see, you could search for specific types of actions you want to find. And one little tip I uh, learned is if you just want to see everything, just put a space in this and then you'll see that you'll have all these different actions. These ones that have the color, these are actually traditional actions that are in Photoshop. They could have been the ones that just came with Photoshop. Or they could be ones that I added, third-party actions, like the actions I have with my Photoshop course that you get. Those will show up with these kind of color backgrounds. But then again, you could see all the actions here. And the ones, again, that you could see previews of, you could hover over. So you could see everything there is right here. And you could see that there are a lot of different actions. Now, what if you want to get to these um, actions? Let's clear out of here totally. What if you want to get to those traditional actions, the ones that were in Photoshop or in the current version of Photoshop? And if you've installed third-party actions like the ones I have with my course, go to yours and you'll see the default actions are right here. Roll that open. You can see they're there. The ones I have for my course are here. Um, if you don't like the way they look, what you could do is you could go to this little flyout menu here and you could just go back to classic actions. And then go to that flyout menu again and turn off button mode. And when you turn off button mode, then they're just like the regular actions like they are in the current version of Photoshop. But you'll notice those new actions are gone. To get to those again, you need to go up and you have to go down, down here to where it's take it off classic actions and put it on actions. Then you'll go over to suggested and you have those suggested actions here. So let's run some uh, here. Let's. I mentioned that um, that I would uh, switch out the background just to show you the, what that one did. So generate custom background. Notice that when I didn't get a preview. So when you click on it to apply the action for this specific one, what it will do is it will give you a prompt to uh, say what you want in the background. And I mentioned let's put her on a, a busy street. Uh, busy sidewalk. I don't want her in the middle of the street getting hit by a car and street. See if that works and click generate. So like any generative prompt in Photoshop, it's going to give you three options and you could choose from the three variations and uh, pick which one you think is best. And you know, there it is. There's one there. There's another one there. It doesn't look right. Does it? None of those look great. Maybe that one looks the best of the three maybe maybe that one i don't know they all kind of look just totally out of place but as i mentioned it's totally non-destructive so you could come in and just throw all these layers out that it used to create this action or run this action or you could go to your history panel and just go back to the open um, where you open the image up into photoshop to get rid of it let's just run another one for the sake of running another one uh, let's see, a uh, black and white sepia tone, this one here, I kind of like that, but you notice I hover over it, it just adds one background copy, you can see down there in the layers panel, to apply it, again, just click on it, and you could see it ran it, and that's it, and if you don't like it, just take this and take it down to the trash can and throw it out. So, the new actions panel in Photoshop, and you could run more than one, I could make the subject pop by clicking on that, and you can see what it did. 
<laughs> they hate it. Um, and then we could uh, strongly boost the vibrant. No, we don't want to do that. How about a black and white sepia tone? But you can see all the stuff that did here uh, to the um, to the image. Now, if you are going to add another one and you have a lot of layers like this, what I suggest you do is you either flatten this. To do that, you would go up to layer and then down to flatten image, or you put a stamp layer on top. There's no menu item for a stamp layer on top, uh, but there is a convoluted keyboard shortcut. On a Windows computer, it's Shift, Alt, Control, E. On a Mac, it's Shift, Option, Command, E. And when you do, you'll have a stamp layer on top, and then you could come in and put another action cleanly on the previous action. So you could strongly boost Vibrance if you wanted to do that. So those are the new actions that are in the beta version of Photoshop and will probably find their way into the current version of Photoshop sometime soon. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.